I've wrestled a few hundred tires since about 1990, and uh, this is what I've learned in that 20 or 30 years. I'll guarantee you that uh, it's five and a half minutes of your time well spent or your money back. Guys, making a real quick video on how to not use ether on a really bad tire offset. So it's a front tire from a four-wheel drive tractor, and it's probably meant for a four-inch rim, and I'm putting it on a seven-inch rim. Ether works better than just about anything, but it's dangerous. Step one, get your get one bead on. When you Let me pause for a second here. This is obviously only going to work on manageable sized tires and rims. Um, if it's a backhoe, skidder, or wheel loader tire, you're probably going to need equipment or friends or have to just deal with it on the machine. In that case, you want to widen the tire bead out, particularly on a warm, sunny day when the tire is more malleable. You want to widen it out by putting something around the perimeter, a ratchet strap or a chain and binder. Um, and then probably going to need ether, an air bazooka if you got it, but um, also a pool noodle or grease or something to take up that gap around the bead helps. First put that rim in. I mean, you know, the, the tire's going to be sucked in on the rim. you got to use your foot. I'll try to kind of demonstrate. you got to just put your foot in there and, and I mean, really... Pump that thing. Okay, safety beads on. All stems out. Rubber quick connect hoses on. Put it on your bucket, gentle. tire tip for you wheelbarrow full of water kitty pool works good too just put it under your gutter and you've got a slow leak you can't figure it out you got to find it so i mean everybody knows this i'm not saying this is the, the trick here but i've got a rusty bead you know it might be dry rot in the tire but it's more than likely it's dirt and crap and rust in there so dap weldwood contact cement break your bead open this is where all my Rusty, leaky, dirt, grime, crap all that was in there. Get some of that on your brush. And just milk it up in there. And about there to there was where the bubbles was coming up on me. Seat the bead. There you go. Piece of cake, okay? I could have spent a lot of ether. 
I could have burned up a lot of starting fluid and blown my face off all day long trying to get that to seat. And I've done it plenty of times in the past, but I'm telling you, this way works better. So thank you for watching, and uh, God bless, and go teach your kids something now.